We're back to Neil Haley's show, and I'm excited to talk to these guys today. They're podcasters, and it's very interesting. One year, I mean, in, I mean, in one month, I, or I guess a couple weeks, it'll be my anniversary, 15 years doing podcast, radio, and television. Amazing. I've done over 15,000 plus interviews. I wish someone could compile them. Someday, I'm going to have everyone go back in the archives and look at this. But these two guys are doing something that's so important. One of the biggest challenges I've seen in marketing today is that uh, the people have the most difficulty are authors uh, to market themselves, musicians, which you wouldn't be shocked about because they're always in their craft, and actors. And my two guests are music experts of marketing. Harkos and KP, thanks for stopping by. Uh, tell me a little bit, Harkos, first about your podcast, and then KP can jump in and why you guys started the podcast, and then also why you help people market music as well. Yeah, the so, uh, yeah, our podcast, basically, myself and KP, we're both um, artists. We um, also have learned about a lot of music marketing, just basically from a self-reliance standpoint. Um, you know, not a lot of money, but we had some time, and so we took that time to educate ourselves and did a lot of practices and a lot of a lot of testing over the years on different practices and everything. And then me and him actually met in a master class on learning like some more uh, higher level music marketing skills. We actually met in there and um, and on Zoom call, and then we just started going back and forth about stuff. And the other people in the Zoom were like, "Hey, you guys should start a podcast." So we did. And um, and what's really unique about us is we are both like diverse in, in multiple different ways um yeah you know i'm really into hip-hop and he's really into metal and he's actually been a metal front man for about 23 years um yeah. so he's done a lot of live shows and stuff like that and myself i personally don't like live shows because i'm more of an introvert but i do <laughs> i do focus a lot more on the um uh on the internet based stuff and i think and he, he he knows a lot about the internet based stuff as well too but um but when we got together you know our main goal is like hey you know we want to help artists and one area that we well we see multiple different areas but usually the artists who are just getting started or maybe have been doing it for a year or two they're still trying to get everything put together and they don't necessarily have their main base of operations set up, but they're still right. trying to go out here and gain fans. Right. You see all these people out here that are always pitching, you know, Spotify playlist promotions, right. run up your streams. And, 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 and it's a and, complete and, scam. Complete yeah, all scam, the, fake. Yeah. They're never going to be fans. They're going to buy your music because who cares what followers you have unless you're going to get a contract and that's not going to happen. I'm going to yeah. jump back. I I have a good conversation to go into this because I have represented artists before. Mm -hmm. Well, I, John DeSouza is one of them, and it'll build out his Facebook group to over you know a thousand followers, and he got ended up getting a contract from it. So mm -hmm. I guess that was my success. Uh, or the music industry, he ended up getting a contract because of the Facebook group. Yeah. It's important to look at those things. So KP, let's jump into specifically your thought process of working on this podcast, and what do you try to teach artists in this podcast about marketing that they're missing? Well, what we try to do here over here at um music making sense podcast and thanks for having us here neil really appreciate you um but what we try to do is get artists who are starting from ground zero from scratch to start building their own identity like we focus on brand identity like who are you as an artist what are your what are your likes what are your dislikes what are your interests what are your hobbies um tell us a story about yourself right and what we want to do is that we want to be able to bring that out to the, with artists and then we highlight it and help them to get out there and market their brand, their music and their style. So that's what mainly we do. That's why we call it Music Making Sense Podcast. And shout out to Brandman Sean and Corey over at No Labels Necessary, Brandman Network and um, Contra Brand Agency, who was the ones that pretty much virtually got us together and we, we like Harkos explained in, in the in the podcast meeting that we were or the zoom meeting that we had within the mass within their class um we were able to just come together i was just like dude we need to do a podcast and uh, no doubt, that's why we no did doubt. that yeah and and, and and i love love music i guess when my when i'm making my comeback in 2024 potentially to the ring gotta hit the gym I'm a former professional wrestler, wrestled for X amount of years, and then retired. If you guys have not Googled me enough out there and see where I'm at and different things with celebrity interviews, all that, definitely check it out. Because again, we just and I'm a huge wrestling podcast. fan. Huh? Which I'm thing? a huge wrestling fan. Okay. So <laughs> Google me, but Google who me, my brand is now and what I've built. A brand right. is such an important thing in the brand identity. And I want to go back to Harkos and this whole thing. This is where people think I got to get millions of millions of uh, you know, likes on Instagram, which is horse. It's not true because it's fake. 
really the truth is that the only the top top celebrities are going to get all those views you can go viral on tiktok you can viral on uh, an instagram but it takes time and a lot of artists aren't going to be able to get that they and and, and those aren't the people who are going to be the people who are going to be the streams right harkos right. that's the problem yeah. people are looking i need thousands of comments i need thousands of followers and if none of them are your, are your audience what's the purpose you're really missing out and making money as an artist well, there's mm -hmm. a big difference between followers and super fans, you know, because uh, previously a few episodes ago, we went over um, uh, how Banzoogle and um, Bandcamp and stuff were acquired by other companies and stuff. And basically the market is shifting with a lot of these big companies that service different kinds of uh, services for artists. They're shifting to focus more on gaining the money from the super fans. And in order to do that, you have to build a cult like following in order for, to get those. So you can have a million followers, but whenever you post your stuff up on social media, either about free stuff that you're giving out, like, you know, hey, check out my new music video or go stream my music. Or even if you want to ask them to give you a dollar for something or twenty dollars for something, if you only get, you know, one percent of that one million, that one million is worthless. It just is vanity metrics just like having you know tens of thousands of streams a month it's all vanity metrics because you know people i see people post about this all the time they'll post oh i just had sixty thousand streams on spotify in the first week of my new you know my new single go check it out and then you look and they only had three likes on that post and you know they rarely ever get any comments or anything like that a lot of it is just vanity metrics. And and, and, and even the common comments for vanity metrics, because you can mm -hmm. pay an agency in Instagram to get a bunch of likes and comments or TikTok, and it really is not real. Yeah, you like can, a, yeah. yeah, you can pay for a lot of stuff to make it look like you're really doing well. But you're However, you're not. No, you can spend that same money and actually start doing well. See, that's the thing is that I, I recently posted something about how, you know, uh, streaming royalties are like heroin. It feels good at first, but you get addicted like crazy after that. And that's what a lot of these people go through whenever they spend 50, 60 bucks to get, you know, 50, 60,000 streams on Spotify through all these bot playlists. It makes them feel good, but then they got to keep pumping that money in and they only got a couple dollars out of it, you know, and everything like that. And they're not actually getting anything out of it. And so then that's when they start feeling, um, you know, discontent with the music industry. Oh, you know, it's rigged, it's set up, blah, blah, blah. No, it's just you are getting sold a bill of goods that is not good. You, you need to learn how to actually put your music to work and market your music properly or bare minimum, find people who will actually help you with that long thing. We live in a very, you know, a high rate society of give me those endorphins, give me that quick hit right now. And so that's what a lot of people look for. They're like, hey, if I give you $100, I want to see X amount of streams in the first week. And I was like, no, 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 no. This is a long, slow ride, man. Just like, you know, you know I'm in hip hop. Like Nipsey Hussle said, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And this is what the biggest thing is that if you're looking at becoming a social, finally making money as a brand, you're looking at 10 to 12 years to really make it a legacy income. It takes three to four years to really even start to blow up in certain ways. You might lock in to going viral, but then it's, it's a grind. You're looking at 14, mm -hmm. 15 hours a day. Once you do that, a lot of them are too busy doing all these other things. And KP explain that as as a musician, you don't have time to be on social media 24-7, do you, bro? Well, it depends on what you're doing, though. And I'm saying that because as an as an artist, like, for me, and everybody's situation, one thing I understand, everybody's situation is different. Like, I'm a disabled veteran. So I don't have to go, I don't have to go punch in a clock for anybody. I pretty much can stay home and, and, and do podcasting and music and everything else whereas so, on the other side i'm working 60 hours a week yeah. plus doing my podcast plus trying to help artists plus trying yeah. to do my own music so everybody's situation is absolutely yeah everybody yeah, so and that's different. where you can blow up but the honest to god truth is that the, the, the they've gamed the system in social media mm -hmm. and here's my take in this all if you are listening right now and you want to become an influencer in social media you need to spend 12 to 14 hours a day i'm, I'm talking influencer 12 to 14 hours a day, developing content, building out things, posting, following, and stay on that platform, just one platform. Mm -hmm. And then dominate maybe, them. just maybe, maybe, and dominate it. Now you should go to every platform because you'll cross-promote everything. 
But right. you're not going to get an agency to really do it real. We're going to get downloads, si sales, all those different things, unless mm -hmm. you put the time in yourself. Yes, you might need great video editors. Yes, you might need uh, great, uh, great sound, all the different nuances, you know, Audio, great yeah. designing. But at the end of the day, you got to put the time in too, KP, right? Or yep. else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You and that's the thing. Like, something. Yeah. No, you can't. And the one thing that I, I, I'm also, I'm into sync licensing. So I have deadlines. Right. And it was like, if you're, you got to get, you got to be working on those deadlines. And then, you know, if you get hooked up with, uh, with collaborators, you also got to be considerate of them and get things in within a timely manner and not waste time and things like that. So yes, you, and if you are looking at social media, if you, and I say this to people, like I do, I am a consumer of social media. And the reason I'm a consumer of it is because I really want to know what's going on. I want to stay tapped in to everything. Even though I am a metalhead, I'm trying to figure out what niches are popping, which, which, um, what, what, what's the hot topics going on out there? I want to know all those things because why? Number one, media, and people don't realize this, but media will always be the leader when it comes to careers and when it comes to just connecting the world, right? Media is going to always be number one. So that's where I stand when it comes to like, when people say that they're just consuming social media and I'm also hearing people talk about how it's not real and all those things, we have to look at it like this, guys. Humans created social media. So even those bots and all those things, they're from people. Mm -hmm. So that right. that's that's just my that's right. that's how I look at. So whether you are so if, how however you're on social media. So to answer your question, um, that depends on you as an artist and right. how you're able to do right. it. And and but I think at the bottom line is that you want to look at big things, Harcos. Is you're an independent artist, you want real streams. You want real album sales. You want real merch sales. You want all these different things, or it's a waste. It's not worth it, right, Harco? So you could, let's no. say, have only a thousand followers on Instagram, but you, out of those posts, you're selling merch, you're making money, you're getting people at your concerts to follow you, you're doing all those different things. Then you're doing it right versus having 20,000 followers, all these likes, and no sales. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people, they overlook the power of, a real email list because if you get people to give you their email in exchange for something for free, yeah. now you've actually built a real contact with them because we've all seen it over the years with social media. You'd be hot one day and the next day, either you get shadow banned or booted off for something you said six years ago, or, you know, you get canceled on something or whatever. But if you have that email list, you can still stay strong. And that's where you actually build your real followers, you know, cause you could have 20 or 30 followers on whatever social media platform or from all of them combined. But if you, you have 10,000 emails and you get an open rate of like 80%. That means you have real people that really mess with you hardcore. And um, that that's where you get your real streams. That's where you get your real sales. That's where you get your real money. And then I that's think that you can give DMs them real the value. Powerful things. If you get the real followers and send DMs to them in emails, mm -hmm. that's going to be your best direct marketing out of anything. Bottom yeah. line. Oh, yeah, that personal, yeah, that personal content, yeah, that personal direct or direct marketing. Like, yeah. like I said, like I said, with the Facebook yeah. group I developed for John D'Souza and then him ending up getting a recording contract. That's from relationships yeah. and development. Yeah. You aren't going to get seen like that by just being on Instagram, putting something out there and think that it's going to go viral and someone's going to see you. But if you're constantly seeing somebody's stuff and you're in a community like a Facebook group, like an email list, all but I think it's everything. And I, yeah. I agree with you. Email is going to be websites. A website, how you're, but again, when you're, if you are doing concerts, mm -hmm. you get every one of them to follow you. Those are real followers that are fans of you. They're going to be checking out their stuff every day. So you got to create content. So there's so many different things. Up, so yep. how can we get, how can we listen to your podcast, guys? It sounds great because I think yeah. it's, you're, you're teaching it in a different way because the other marketers aren't going to understand. And I think we're going to be adding that service. And we're going to be talking off air and media giant marketing as we're about to be, have the big launch. I haven't mentioned that guys, because again, it's just Neil Haley 
for the last X amount of years before the days of another thing. And I'm launching all these, but you'll be finding out very, very soon. Just keep listening to the radio show. Keep listening to the podcast. Keep listening to everything. Cause I just found out if I went on Google Bard and typed my name, I'm the number one independent show in America. That's what it said. Google Bard said. Damn, so I, I'll take that. Man. I'll take, I'll take that. Oh, and, yeah. And, 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 uh, whatever that meant, who cares? And I'm number seven yeah. celebrity podcast in world according to Pete Spot. Okay. So where can we can there check you, you guys out? Cause you guys are the next big thing. I know it because oh, all artists need so to know, dope. all artists need to know about this stuff that are musicians because they don't have the money to market. You're going to help them in certain ways. And then when they get their recording contract and marketing, they're able to run. So where are you going to go? Yeah. 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 So everything you can find about us, music, making sense, pod.com. And that's music. And then M a K I N. And then sense as in the monetary value, C E N T S pod.com music making sense pod.com that's where you can find everything about us and yeah we offer free initial consultations we'll go over everything build a custom you know plan for you and then we don't also we don't we don't just do everything for you and work in the background we also work with you to help you educate yourself to where you can actually do a lot more stuff independently as well and then we'll just be there as your guide and as your coach as well but we do offer full full service options as well too where we handle certain amount of things things like running your ad marketing for you and we'll check in every day to make sure it's getting pointed the right direction stuff like that but it's it's you know music making sense podcast for artists by artists that's just our slogan music making right. sense pod.com appreciate it guys I just, sent, I just sent it in the uh chat for you too uh all right. that's perfect all right you're listening oh, yeah. and watching the neil haley show and we'll be back in just a moment cool